Do you recall when Demi Lovato and Selena Gomez were inseparable best friends? According to Demi, Taylor Swift allegedly stole Selena. So what happened there exactly? What did Demi have to say about Taylor? Check this out! Before we continue, please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates about your favorite Hollywood celebrities. Demi and Selena have been friends since 2002 when they both appeared in Barney and Friends from 2002 to 2004. Selena in Wizards of Waverly Place and Demi in the Disney movie Camp Rock boosted their careers. Even though they were working on different projects, their friendship remained strong. Demi and Selena started doing vlogs together to keep their friendship going. And this is my best friend in the entire world. Oh, yes, ever since we were 7 years old on Barney. Demi said in the first video. Demi and Selena even worked together to film Disney's Princess Protection program in 2009. And the chemistry was undeniable because they were best friends in real life. Demi and Selena did a joint interview for People the same year in which they acknowledged their relationship. They both expressed how much fun they had doing things together. But going out at each other's houses was their favorite pastime. Fans began to notice that they were drifting apart about the same time. So how did Demi and Selena end up together? There are only two words to answer that question. Taylor is the one to ask. And by the way, we're not kidding. Demi was asked how Selena was doing in 2010 while signing an autograph fan's notebook and she did answer, Ask Taylor. During an interview with Girls Life, Demi was asked about her friendship with Selena. True friends don't let their friends or family be rude to you. She continued, And I wish the best for her. You can't be friends with someone who you can't trust. Of course, when she talked about people being rude to her, fans assumed she was referring to Taylor with comments like, Taylor Swift's stealing of Selena from Demi is sad. I had a feeling there was a reason I hated her. Selena wished Demi a happy birthday on Twitter in 2015, writing, I'm so grateful you were born. With the hashtags, hashtag no matter what, hashtag forever, and have the best birthday. And Demi responded, I'm glad you were born too. With the hashtags, hashtag no matter what, hashtag forever. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Selena also referred to Demi as her family, I love her. She's like family to me. It's good to be able to see people you grew up with succeeding at this point. Despite Selena saying Demi was like family, 2016 was also the year fans realized that because of Taylor Swift, Selena and Debbie would probably never be best friends again. In an interview with Refinery29, Demi flatly stated that she and Taylor were not friends. Demi said in the same interview that she believed Taylor didn't act on her feminist views, despite the fact that she promoted them. After the shade, Demi and Selena stayed friends, and Selena even praised Demi when she released the documentary Simply Complicated in 2017, which gave a peek into her personal life and career. After Selena's kidney transplant and her lupus battle in the summer of 2017, Demi told People how strong she thought Selena was. And the two made a public appearance when they posed for photos at the InStyle Awards in Los Angeles, showing that they were on good terms. When Selena unfollowed over 200 people on Instagram in 2018, there was trouble in paradise once again. While she began following Taylor Swift, she had unfollowed Demi Lovato. For those who don't recall, Demi was hospitalized in Los Angeles in 2018 after taking an overdose. And when asked if she approached her, Selena said she did so privately in an interview with Elle. Taylor reappeared in 2019 when she was involved in a feud with Scooter Braun. While Selena defended Taylor, Demi defended Scooter saying that she had met just a few terrible people and that Scooter was not one of them. Selena on the other hand was still a supporter of Demi and she praised Demi's writing on her stories following her 2020 Grammy performance. I wish there were worse words to describe how beautiful inspiring and well-deserved this moment was. Demi, I'm happy for you. Thank you for your bravery and courage. Demi addressed Selena's public comment after her Grammy Awards performance in an interview with Harper's Bazaar and it wasn't what fans expected. She stated, When you grew up with someone, you will always have a love for them. But because I'm not friends with her, it made me feel 
Fans later claimed that Demi and Selena moved from friends to enemies after it was revealed that Demi had a private Instagram account called Trauma Queen Forever, which was always posting anti-Selena content. Demi apparently went live from that account, adding to the drama, but her team claimed that the posts were doctored to make it appear as though she was shading Selena. Despite all, a source close to Demi says there's no hate between them. But according to another source, Demi used to feel like Selena wasn't always there for her and that their friendship wasn't reciprocated. So she prioritized Taylor. Well, Taylor and Selena are still great friends. But Selena and Demi are really not. We'd like to hear your thoughts about it. Do you believe Taylor stole Selena from Demi? And do you think Demi is still mad? Please let us know in the comment box below. Thank you for watching.